Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Saturday afternoon action on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Detroit Tigers. And now, first pitch your coming your way Detroit next. Tigers. So two away with nobody on. Now the batter now, Jay Mack. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And he swings and misses at the initial offering. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. And the right hander deals. That Whoa, one missed. Out. Here's a one two. Bounced out to short. Bare hand has to hurry. Throws it away. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. I'll tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boog. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Glenn Stevenson up now for the Tigers. And the pitch. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Let's fly. Let's go right here. The pitch and a foul ball he stays alive hey, let it rip, let it rip. Hey, see it. and right. a pitch and that one fouled off here's a one two got him looking and that's the third out one left for Detroit scoreless after one Now it's going to be James Koo. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Angels go quietly there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. One down. Here's a big power threat. Jay Mack leading the AL in batting average. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Smith to third. He's in there. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. So one out with two aboard. And now, Glenn Stevenson. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And here it comes. Fastball almost got him there. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Kicks and deals. Popped up. Rocha settles under it. Makes the catch. Two down. No, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Roger Berry now at the plate. So RBI spot. But, Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot.
Whitaker on third. Mack at second with two gone. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Brings it in for the third out. Tigers strand a pair, but they hold a 1 0 lead. And up next for Detroit, Jay Mack. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. The 0 1. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Can't get there. Base hit. Shelley coming home. Manning with a relay throw. He gets back in time. A run comes in on the play. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Glenn Stevenson up now for the Tigers. And a pitch. That misses. Full count three and two. Oh, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Okay, one pitch right here. On out. Right-hander kicks deals. Center field. Smith under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags for home. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. He beats it safe. And they're up by three. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Now the Angels manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Mitchell Phillips done for the afternoon, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Craig Fisher. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. The pitch. And he chases that one. Two gone now. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Roberto Campos getting ready to hit one for two. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone and the count's full. And the righty deals. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Five innings complete. It's the Tigers three and the Angels nothing. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Andres Avalos. Hey, double up. Let's go. Andres Avalos. Runner! Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Kind of a gamble right there. They're trying to stay out of the inning ending double play possibility. But now two outs and it gets a little tougher to drive in the run from third. Jay Mack up now for the Tigers. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. There, huh? Mack. Bounced up the middle, into the outfield base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And 
And here's the first baseman, Glenn Stevenson. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. One run game, one out, one on. Next offering is down low. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. You know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track. Back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Runner, runner, runner. runner takes off. Ball outside. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Luis Rocha, the next to hit for the Angels. First offering. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. And your final score, 5-2.